Mar-a-Lago. There we go. Mar-a-Lago. Right. Now, first of all, uh, I'm just going to say this is setting a very dangerous precedence. Just a bit. So basically, um, and this is very common in banana republics, yep. one president will get elected and he will literally go after the prior president and anything bad that happens after he leaves office, they blame it on him. Yeah. And it is just a clusterfuck. <laughs> He's been playing the old bummer card. You know, oh, I didn't know what was happening. I, I totally wasn't. They're still, the White House is still trying to officially deny any knowledge of the raid, even after the memoranda came out proving There's that a, Biden had a hand in it directly. There are FBI whistleblowers coming forward with all yep. kinds of internal information. And we knew it was bullshit immediately because January 6th commission is failing. They're not going to they're not going to recommend charges because there's no charges to bring. Oh, did, because you know, the, the guy that was made fun of for 6 years about his physical state. Oh, he's fat. You know, we really need to be questioning his health because he's so overweight and blah blah blah. All of a sudden, apparently on January 6th, he's a fucking power ranger and he can <laughs> leap through the window uh -huh. of the secret service vehicle and try to wrestle the wheel away. Fuck you. Holy shit. Yeah. And listen, um, there needs to be an actual uh, Supreme Court case where they get to, they just once and for all say, hey, you can't go back and fucking go after the former president. Yeah. SCOTUS is going to have to weigh in on this. Yeah. And because, listen, um, the president has the authority to declassify anything. Just by talking about just it. Just by talking about it, correct. That's all. So, and I read the I read the report. He had over 300 classified oh, documents. Oh, oh. Well. Prove it. Prove it. Take him to court and prove it. And while we're at it, I want to see Hillary Clinton do the perp walk. Yep. I want her entire fucking staff who smashed up cell phones. Five years hard labor. Yep. And everybody involved in covering up Hunter Biden. And Hunter Biden yeah. himself needs to do the perp walk. He is provably, at this point, he has broken several laws. And he's on camera. He's on it. camera doing it. He needs to be in prison. Yeah, that, that motherfucker needs to go to the... Yeah, but we're going to raid Listen, the if, house if he gets the put, private residence of a former president. If, Fuck's for whatever reason, he goes to prison. I know so many people. I'll fucking turn his life into a redneck motherfucking nightmare. It'll Allegedly. Be Allegedly. Glorious. <laughs> glorious. It'd be quite glorious. Uh, listen, you could fuck somebody up in prison. Yeah. Well, uh, let's, uh, to go back to the prior point about like, you know, January 6th is failing. How many, how many times has the legacy media, how many times have the Democrats ha said, Trump's done this time, <laughs> Russian collusion, Pissing hookers, t his tax returns. <laughs> yeah, I mean it just goes on the and on. The 2020 election definitely wasn't stolen. Uh -huh. January 6th committee, nuclear secrets. But by this logic, you need to euthanize every president after they leave office. That's absolutely correct. Okay, and this is where it gets really, really scary right here. Biden White House facilitated DOJ's criminal probe against Trump, scuttled privilege claims in memos. So, long before it professed no prior knowledge of the raid on Donald Trump's estate, the Biden White House worked directly with the Justice Department and the National Archives to instigate the criminal probe into alleged mishandling of documents, allowing the FBI to review evidence retrieved from Mar-a-Lago this spring and <clears throat> eliminating the 45th president's claims to executive privilege. Like I said, if you're going to follow this chain of logic to its conclusion, you have to euthanize every president when they leave office. Absolutely correct. This is You cannot just eliminate the prior president's executive privilege. Well, hang on. Hang on. My intel analyst brain is uh, coming up with a, a theory. Oh. And that theory is this. Mr. Trump has actual evidence of malfeasance going on 
And they don't want him to have said evidence. Yeah. It's not about nuclear secrets. It's about probably Biden crime family yeah. secrets. If it was about nuclear secrets, why didn't you lynch fucking Hillary Clinton for giving away our uranium? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, they should launch that bitch into fucking space. If it was anybody else, they would. I mean, I would lo- I would love to watch it on TV. I mean, shit, how many years did the the one dude on the submarine get just because he Five. happened to take a picture where a piece Five of Five years. Fuck's sakes. And uh, I, I... Five years for a selfie that just happened to include part of a nuclear engine. Well, no, it wasn't even the engine. It was a control panel. Control and they, panel. And a the location, uh, a door. Whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. But Come it, on. The whole room is, is, is... You're not supposed to be fucking around that shit in there. But yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, but for anyone else, it's ignorance of the law deal. is no excuse. Yeah, no. If you're one of the political elite, ignorance of the law means, well, she didn't mean to. So I guess we're just not going to refer charges because I don't want to get suicided. Pretty much. Fuck's sakes. I mean, this is getting out of hand here. Oh, it's well beyond now, no, out don't, of hand. Now, listen, a lot of people are like, pop your fucking Trump pansy. Listen. Kiss my ass. <laughs> one, I am not a Trump pansy. Number two, I want to see our government go back to the way it's supposed to be running. I want our officials to three, be public servants who are held accountable. That's right. I want whoever's elected to represent the people who elected them. They Liz don't get Cheney. elected and all of a sudden, like, those peons, I need to lead them. That's not your fucking job, you motherfuckers. Yeah, Liz Cheney, you fucking cunt. I mean, oh, man, this is this is really going to get bad. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and the hits just keep on coming, or should I say the shits just keep on coming. Yep. Most complete summary was contained in a lengthy letter dated May 10th that acting National Archivist Deborah Steidel Wall sent Trump's lawyers summarizing the White House's involvement. Oh, he didn't expect somebody within the walls to talk. On April 11th, 2022, the White House Counsel's Office affirming a request from the Department of Justice supported by an FBI letterhead memorandum formally transmitted a request that NARA provide the FBI access to the 15 boxes for its review within seven days, with the possibility that the FBI might request copies of specific documents following its review of the boxes. Wall wrote Trump defense attorney Evan Corcoran. That letter revealed Biden empowered the National Archives and Records Administration to waive any claims to executive privilege that Trump might assert to block DOJ Uh. from gaining access to the documents. The counsel to the president has informed me that in light of the particular circumstances presented here, President Biden defers to my determination in consultation with the assistant attorney general for the Office of Legal Counsel regarding whether or not I should uphold the former president's purported protective assertion of executive privilege, Wall wrote. I therefore decided not to honor the former president's protective claim of privilege. So she's a peon. Yep. And Biden's like, okay. Well, well, his handlers said okay. Well, the thing is, is the FBI was in, um, they're basically meeting with Trump's lawyers talking about these documents for months prior. Yeah. They knew exactly what he had. They could have said, hey, can you bring those documents? Yeah. Yeah, sure. He was cooperating the entire time. Yeah. And that's why when that stupid bitch went on Fox and it's like, well, Hillary cooperated like a human being by smashing servers and cell phones with hammers and yep. bleach bit. Kiss my ass. Listen, um, if you're a colonel in the military and you just happen to have a secret uh, server with all kinds of top secret shit on it in your bathroom, you're going to fucking prison. Yeah. They're going to nail you to a fucking wall. Yep. But, of course... When you don't have the facts on your side, what do you do? You accuse the other side of doing what, what you're you, doing. Projection. Yes. Because the Washington Post, when Trump was in office, said that he was weaponizing alphabet agencies against his adversaries, which is a, a fucking lie. You'll find all these sources on redonculus.com. They're there as we speak. Yeah. And I mean, worried that President Trump might use the power of his office to punish personal enemies? I hate to break it to you, but you're three years too late because he's done it already many, many times. He did it in the Ukraine affair, of course, when he tried to use taxpayer funds to extort a foreign leader into smearing a political opponent. Never happened. The administration is abusing the antitrust system to punish perceived enemies in the auto industry. Never happened. Mm-hmm. He allegedly tried to use federal procurement to punish perceived enemies allegedly tried you see with how they how they yeah. get away with telling these lies mm-hmm. 
It's so stupid. Hypothetically. And yet, here we go. Former Attorney General under Barack Obama, Eric Holder, identified and placed sympathetic ideologues in key departments of the DOJ and FBI, something Biden has also done in his tenure. Yep. They were placed in the IRS, the FEC, and the IRS. They saw combined to form a red team that would target, isolate, and destroy opponents of Obama or his legacy. Reportedly, both Democrats and Republicans were on the list, but the majority were conservative leaders. They mapped out weak targets, and the IRS, SEC, or FEC would research them deeply, looking for mistakes or missteps. Once information was gathered that would spark interest, it was leaked to friendlies in the press, politicians, or sympathetic nonprofits such as the Sunlight Foundation. By doing so, they covered their tracks to avoid the change, the charge of targeting. Multiple sources in Congress have reported that the DOJ would then hijack these administrative agencies' actions, bringing these investigations in-house and handling them as felony investigations. The targeted list was developed and fleshed out by the Red Team or Hit Squad. Once the DOJ took a case, it moved without interference, using broad powers to issue subpoenas and charges in federal criminal indictments. Republicans are treated differently than Democrats. That needs to stop. Yep. Now, listen... um this is only further dividing people. Like, literally, when our own government is turning on itself, sooner or later, people are like, why the fuck are these people there? Yeah. And they're going to have a huge problem. It's going to be a very, very big problem. Yeah. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.